There we go. How's everybody doing? So we're all going to do some performing today before, we start, before I start yapping at you. So I'll clap something if you can clap it back so I can see who has rhythm. These are good. You guys have tables. You can use tables or the ground. I just don't have anything up here to bank. Let's try that again. There you go. Cool. I need six volunteers to come play with me today. Okay? Come up. Right here. One, two, right? Yep, one, two. That's four. We have two more drums. Two more. Come on, nice. All right, so one, two. Any drum, pick a drum except for this one. One, two, three. This is my baby. Oh. And we have one here. And I'll lose my notes. Cool. So, you guys are the lab group here. The, um, so these are hand drums. There's two real sounds we could have. Has anybody played? Do we have any players? Nice. The, um, so for, <laughs> for my new people, we have two main sounds. You can hit the drum in the center and get like a lower tone, a bass sound, or towards the edge with like more of your fingers and get a higher sound. Cool. So I'll play some stuff. You guys play back, okay? Yeah. Professionals, that's what I'm talking about. Can we get a round of applause? <laughs> so the other important thing in any drumming tradition where there's more than one person is how do we stop? So I use a tradition from West Africa called the break. It's used in djembe ensembles. So if we're playing and jamming, which we're going to do a lot of, and it's time I need everybody to stop, I'm going to play this rhythm. Bop -ba -da -bop -ba -da -bop -bop. And everybody just plays a single note at the end. So it'll sound like... Boom. Right. One more time. And if we're really into it, and I, I know everybody's like in the zone doing their thing, I'll do this out front to let you know we're going to stop soon. Bam. Okay? Just so we all know ahead of time. So let's do this now. I know, I, t I put this thing on, I was like, oh, it doesn't loosen? <laughs> Wait a minute. The, um, let's play a rhythm together. So I'll start playing a rhythm repetitively, and you just join in with me. Okay? Just join in. Start playing the rhythm I'm playing. Bop -ba -da -bop -ba -da -bop -bop. Right, that just lets us stop. So sometimes I'll play a rhythm and I just want you to keep playing. You guys keep playing until I play. Bop -ba -da -bop -ba -da -bop -bop. And then we stop together. Cool? Let's do it again. Just come right in. Now keep playing. Boom. So, huh? yeah, you keep playing through the break. But that sort of comes. So, part what I'm talk, what I'm gonna, my talk is about is the creative process and a group dynamic. Um, we're gonna use a drum circle as a lab group. But what brought all these ideas to me is I'm a jazz musician first, and working in jazz quartets, jazz trios, and, and exchanging ideas live and in the moment. I've done musicals, improvised musicals. And so communicating with actors, I'm a percussionist as a piano player, and throwing each other ideas and listening and saying, all right, who's going to do what next? The, um, 
And I, I found the same ideas as a teacher lesson planning with my fellow teachers. The same ideas. So sort of bringing all that together. So the first thing in a group dynamic when you're creating something, there has to be some parameters, you know? And that's what we just set up here. You know, we're all playing hand drums. This is how we're going to stop. <laughs> so we know when to stop playing and start playing. And I'm going to set up a little activity that we'll all have a chance to create a groove uh, reacting to each other. So let's do that. So this is what we'll do. I'm going to start playing a simple groove. And I'm just going to continue playing it. What's your name? Adam. Adam, when you hear something to play, you can join me. It can be what I'm playing. It can be something totally different. There's no wrong answer. Once Adam comes in, Patrick, Patrick will come in. And you'll just listen and then join in. And let's go right around. The, um, when it's time to stop, I'll play the break. And we're done. Cool? So let's do it. So the parameters I set up in this particular instance, right, I said, we're going to do an exercise, I'll start playing, then we'll each come in in, a, in succession, right? In the case of a jazz group, that would be the chart. That would be the chart. We're going to play Julia from the Beatles today. But let's do it as a samba, as a Brazilian group. Now those are our parameters. There's a lot of creativity that can happen inside of that, but those are our parameters there. In an improv group, we, it's always about prompts, right? Somebody give me a noun. Somebody give me an adjective. Oh, great. Now I have to act like a brown bear for the next 10 minutes. The, uh, or in the case of a lesson, right, this is what I want to teach these kids. Okay? And they're band kids, so I know these are the tools I have in my room. All right, now let's work together to figure out what we're going to do. The, um, so it's, at first, it's all about setting those parameters. And this same thing works if you think about the business world. You know, I do a lot of nonprofit work, and you're talking about mark you're in a marketing meeting. And you're looking at, all right, what's our goal? What tools do we have? What's our budget? Do we have a social media account yet? Nope, we need to call Savvy Sisters and get on that. <laughs> the, um, or we have all this stuff. How do we use it effectively? So that's the first thing. Let's do the exercise again, and then we'll pull something else out of it. OK? Because each time we do it, we learn a little more about ourselves. I'm going to do a different groove, though. It's already starting to come together, isn't it? It's already starting to come together. The, um, so the next thing that happens, that, well, to me, the next important thing is that as a group, we begin to learn each other's strengths. And part of that is that identifying your own strength. You know, what, what, what am I bringing to the table here? You know, and you can already sort of hear players going, you know what? You took a risk there, Adam, that time. I heard you. The, uh, the, uh, you know what? I'm going to go after this little part here. This is where I feel comfortable. Or, I feel like I'm, I can play a little quicker. I have, I have some chops here. You know, in a jazz situation, we know, we know our roles. 
drummer, right, keeping the time with the bass player who's laying down the time and the harmonies, piano player laying down the harmonies for us. But we also have, you know what, I know this guy, he has some chops. So the piano player is going to say, I'm going to leave some space for this drummer. Or the other way around, man, as a drummer, I know this piano player is going to play a lot of notes when he takes a solo and blow everybody away. I'm going to stay out of the way. You know, knowing your role, finding a role inside the group. That improv group. So the, the improvised musical we did, we would pull out the prompts, but as we ran shows, by the second week, I knew the actors now. So I knew, like, oh, Mike can rap. So he's going to get a rap at some point. Because the way it would work is they would start a scene, and then maybe the piano player would start playing. <laughs> like, oh, I feel a song coming on, because that's how musicals will work anyway. And, then, and, we, and we would throw different styles. Um, we knew who was strong here and there. So you learn everybody's strengths. And they also learn, the actors learn with us, oh, I know I can start singing, and they're going to be able to catch up to me. You know, but you only learn that after you begin to attend to each other's strengths and know your own. In the classroom, my co-band my co director, when I was a band director, was a wind player. I'm a percussionist. If I'm having trouble with my winds, I'm going to go to Mary Margaret and say, hey, how do we work on breathing? How do I fix this problem? You know, and then we're going to work together to come through this lesson plan. Why just try to do all out of my head when there's somebody else in the room with that strength, right? So that's the next thing. Same thing here. You can hear everybody beginning to listen to each other, figure out where they fit in in this whole scheme. Let's do it one more time. I'll switch it up again. Yeah. So I sort of combine these two things, the finding your strength and work and finding the strengths of the group. But those are really what brings out the creative part of it. Now, we're in the process world. I, I spend a lot of my time, I call it in the weeds, like thinking about how these processes work. But after a while, you have to think about the outcome, too. And that's the other important part of any type of creative project is what's your real outcome, not the product. But when you're playing, like, are we, are we playing, like, I'm playing a jazz tune, is it in minor, and like, is it sad, is it dark, are we angry? Is that what I want my audience to feel? Or am I playing something and I'm talking about a light spring day? How can I make it feel like that? How can we work using our strengths to make it feel like that? Um, I play with an artist named uh, Lily Yell. Um, she spent some time on our last album up on the, on the WRTI Hot 11 jazz charts. And there's a song we play called, called Climb the Wall. And it's in this rhythm that puts together, brings together rhythms from West Africa and Cuba. It's called Afro-Cuban 6-8 rhythm. And um, when we play that song in, in concerts, it immediately, first note, she starts playing the guitar and I start out on kungas before I move the drum set. It's that feeling of, oh, it's on. It's on. And you know every time we're going on a journey and that we're going to take the audience on this journey with us. And it's going to go all over. And you're going to, this song is about climbing the wall, like climbing the walls of life and getting over those hurdles. You know, climb the wall. And we're going to, we're going to take this audience on this journey. I'm getting chills right now thinking about it. But that's, that's that feeling that happens when you're collaborating and you get to know the people you're working with. And you get to know their strengths. And you know that when I do this, I know that, I know that, uh, that Dale is going to do this on the organ, you know. When I do this, I know Lily's going to do this on her guitar. And here it comes. And we're going to be able to take this big thing and share that with our friends out there, out in the crowd. Let's do it one more time. So
So this time, after we all get settled, feel free to change your rhythm if you feel like it. Because after you get settled and after everybody's in, you hear somebody else came in after you, you're like, oh, I can interact with that. Feel free to go with it. Feel free. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with being creative. <laughs> Here it is. Thank you guys so much for, for taking the risk. That's it.